So it depends on where you are in Africa. There's not uh, some. It's not the same across the continent. So we have places where we're doing very well, and primarily it's because they're investing in research and development, and they've kind of looked at every step, whether it's from high school, before high school, at the university, at the research level, what investments are needed. And uh, it's not the same everywhere else. Uh, also, we do not have the same system as Silicon Valley. I know there's a lot of uh, buzzwords, but we do not have the venture capital uh, funding. We don't have the funding instruments. We don't have the ability to scale up our ideas. We are not protecting um, our invention. So there's a lot of challenges currently, but there's also a lot of optimism because of the technology adoption across the continent. So this is the right time for Africa. So also, I guess, the right time for women with who have uh, ambitions to kind of move forward in, in STEM uh, industries in Africa to, to, to do so as well. Where do yeah. things stand with regard to women in tech innovation on uh, the continent at the moment? So I would say uh, Africa is an advance in terms of having girls go into the sciences. What we're seeing, the challenge, and uh, particularly in postgraduate education, uh, after the postdoctorate level, the, the situation gets very bad, is the retention of women in sciences and tech. And then we have very serious issues of... Uh, harassment and other things that cause women to leave the career. So you'll have a woman who has a master's degree in industrial chemistry who could be building our drugs uh, or seeing how to build our drugs at the pharmaceutical company who's left that and is now a bank teller. There's also an issue of women not seeing uh, science as a viable career, and that ends up being uh, cultural issues as well as not seeing role models that are, uh, are women who are, in leaders, who are leaders, who are scientists. So there's level, multiple layers of problems, but we're definitely doing better than Europe and other places. Oh, what are those places? Definitely France, for example. Here we are in France. Uh, in terms of women who are staying in the mathematical sciences, uh, I work at the African Institute for Mathematical Sciences, and we have a quota system uh, that keeps women, at least 30% of our students at the master's level are women. And in France, th that number is lower than 10%. So we are doing better in terms of numbers, but what we're not seeing is the retention of women, and that's a global issue.